This video has all the small features of War Thunder update direct hit that you almost certainly missed. Things that didn't quite make it into the War Thunder patch notes, and some things that weren't even in the data mines. The balloons on Normandy have been removed, and I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be intended or if this is simply just a bug. Missiles now leave the rail seamlessly instead of magically spawning in front of your aircraft. It's a really nice small detail and this is honestly one of the highlights of the patch for me. The modification menu now has a miniature stat card for night vision and thermals that displays which crew members receive the functionality and also shows if it's specifically night vision or thermal display. Belly landing aircraft now creates sparks as your aircraft horrifically scrapes down the runway. There's also a sound effect to go alongside it. Cockpit mirrors now have a much higher resolution, and on the Draken you can even see yourself as they reflect the pilot's model. But your head still doesn't exist and you have this weird strange neck going on. The Heinkel 111 H16 has received a high resolution cockpit model as part of the Revenue Share program. If anyone's watching who has the expertise to make one of these cockpit models, please make one for the BE6 as it's my favourite bomber. Previously, the centre-mounted bombs on the Jaguar released together, but now they release independently. In vehicles with Dunfire rocket pods, the modifications menu now features a new graphic. As part of the new test drive map, vehicles can now respawn indefinitely. And this does apply to the aircraft, but it seems to spawn in without fuel. Terrible news now for IL-28SH players as the one second burst mass for the aircraft has been massively nerfed. The aircraft has unfortunately gone from 25.74 kilograms to 24.73. Literally unplayable. Some vehicle modifications were removed or reworked like the STB losing its heat shell and getting a brand new Hess shell, so you might have received a Golden Eagle or Silver Lion refund. The A32A has received chaff in the update and that would be very useful if it consistently faced radar missiles. The only radar missile it can see is on the Demon and almost no one's playing that. The AV-8 now has 240 flares and if you press the button fast enough, the game won't actually be able to render all of the flares being deployed. The concrete buildings on Spaceport allow you to actually go inside and climb up the ramps. The MiG-21 MF and SMT now have access to flares and chaff, so it might be able to go up in BR again. Also, according to one Reddit thread, this is actually an electronic countermeasures pod. I have no idea how to verify this, but if it's true, perhaps it's a glimpse of where War Thunder might go next. The X-ray in the bottom left now specifies if you're using manual transmission instead of automatic. The forest camos on Russian tanks have been updated, and there are new camos available on the Japanese tanks too. In addition to the STB losing its heat FS round, the optical zoom was also nerfed from 8 to 16 times scope to just 8 times scope. The minimap for ground forces now has a cone of vision to show you where you're looking, in case you're not quite sure which direction you're looking. The M42 for Italy now has its entire belt fed in one go, which means you have the ability to unload your entire ammunition reserve in one go. In an attempt to fix the issues with cancelling queue and being put into a match, there's now a 3-2-1 countdown for leaving the queue, but it doesn't work. All top mounted MGs in the game have had their traverse and vertical elevation speeds massively increased. There's a new sort of bubbly sound effect when traversing the water in an amphibious vehicle. There's a new 38mm thick armoured plate that's been added to the Sea Vixen. The profile icons of the significant World War II military leaders have now had flavour text added, telling you exactly who is who. The BV-138 bombsight is a little bit bugged and acts as an x-ray for the ocean, so if they ever add submarines, this is the plane to fly. The river on the new Breslau map is not actually deep enough to drown a tank, and contrary to angry reddit man's opinion, it's actually supposed to be like that. The river is based on the Uda River, which in real life is only three feet deep. 
See, it even tells you that on Google. In case you weren't tired enough of nerds like me who bought the six bush pack back in 2016, they've now added even more 3D decoration bushes, so unlucky.